I am Anna guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Aya and I'm a bento mom. I make fun and creative lunch boxes from my daughter Zion. I'm also into gardening and homemaking. So if these are the things that interest you, please keep on watching. Happy Friday guys! <laughs> so sa mga hindi pa nakakapanood ng previous vlogs ko, we're already on our second week of our cartoon character series. So I'm recreating old cartoon character bentos that I've already did in the past and which I have already posted in my Instagram account. So most of the bento creations that I did in the past, a lot of them were cartoon characters. So that's why I decided to create this series. So we started this series Monday of last week and so far we've already done 9 cartoon character bento creations. Right? And because we're doing the Adventure Time series, we're going to be doing another carton character from Adventure Time for this week. So let's check the ingredients. Alright guys, so like what I've mentioned earlier, ang gagawin natin for today is another carton character from Adventure Time. So yung mga main characters lang ang ginawa ko for this week and obviously you already have an idea who that carton character is because everything I have here is color pink. So, we're doing Princess Bubblegum of the Adventure Time series today to end the week. So, the ingredients that we have here, of course, I have dark pink na color dries. And then, of course, I have a light pink color dries for the face. So, I have already colored this earlier. So, I'll show you here how I color the rice. Alright guys, so here's how you color your rice. So, I have here the white rice. And then I have here the pink food coloring, so I diluted it in water. Mahala kayo guys, again, kung gaano ka dark or ka light yung gusto nyo. Pero for our creation for today, we wanted to achieve like medyo a darker pink. So what we'll do is just pour the food coloring over the rice, like this. And then just simply mix the rice. So again, we wanted to achieve like a darker pink color. So, uh, dinilip ko lang sa sa water. Or about one tablespoon no food color kasi medyo marami ng rice and then dilute it sa water ng about just half a tablespoon sa water. Or one tablespoon rin. Uh, Tansyahin mo na lang yung shade niya. If you like the shade na, then stop adding water. Basta kung gusto niyo ng lighter shade, just add more water until ma-achieve niyo yung inyong desired shade. Okay, so since napakito ka na sa inyo kung paano ko kinulayan yung ating rice, let's move on with the other ingredients. So for our ulam, we have scrambled eggs with tuna, tuna omelette. Then we have your hot dog slices. Okay, it's a lazy Friday today, so something quick lang yung ginawa ko for today. And then for our fruits, we have kiwi slices. And then... We also have a nori here. So for this one, hindi ako gumamit ng nori puncher. I just used a fine tip na scissors, this one. And then I just cut two small circles and then I just cut a little curved line for the mouth. And then we also have cheese here. So yung cheese guys, ganyan lang ang shape na itakot natin. This is for her crown. And of course we have our lettuce. And then we have our bento tools here, our picks, and then our silicone cups. And then for the desserts, I will just insert this chocolate for Zion. Then I have the cling wrap, and of course, our yum box. So we'll start molding our rice. Okay, so to mold our rice, I just cut two portions of our cling wrap. And then I'll just put the dark pink colored rice here first. So, we'll use this for the hair. So, si Princess Bubblegum, I'll show you the picture here. So, ganito yung kanyang itsura, yung kanyang hair, medyo long. And may bangs siya. So, I'll show you the shape na kailangan natin para ma-ink mo yung rice. So, what I'm doing guys is just using it sa kitchen counter para maging compact again. So, nagkakreate lang ako ng space here, unti-unti. Parang gumagawa lang muna ako ng letter C. And then, what we want to do is basically just to shape it. 
kung paano yung itsura ng kanyang hair. Which is like a horseshoe na shape or parang magnet shape. Habaan lang natin dito sa dulo kasi mahaba yung kanyang hair. Okay? And then we'll go to the face. So again, I'll put a small portion ng ating rice. Actually, this is the second time I'm doing her. The first time I didn't create or I didn't use rice for the face. I used like a uh, luncheon meat yata yun, or ham. So I'll show you my old creation here as well. So yung face niya, ganito lang siya guys, okay? Parang half na oval, or half na circle. Hindi siya circle guys, eh? basta half na oval, medyo pahaba, okay? Okay guys, so what I did was unwrap the cling cap. At ang ginawa ko is, yung minold natin na hair kanina, is I inserted lang yung face, yung light pink na face na parang half circle, half oval na shape. Ganyan lang siya guys, maliit lang siya. And then I inserted it here, sa hair, so I know how it will look like exactly. At saka paano yung kanyang magiging fit sa yam box. So the first thing that we'll do of course is just to put our, which is here, half of color sa ating blend of creation. And then, I'll just put it here. Okay, so put your hair in what nothing. So I'm just trying to put them together. Okay? And then, I'll insert the face na ginawa natin. So I'll just insert here. Para mag-fit yung kanyang face. Okay. I'm just fixing the shape as well. My head. And what we want to put is the cheese. Ito yung kanyang crown, guys. Just putting it here. So, careful lang tayo sa cheese slices kasi medyo mabilis silang maputol. Let's just remove the excess of the look. cover and para nakago around yung kanyang crown sa head niya. And then, I will put because she has like a gem on top just cut a little bit yung sa ibabaw para the gem will fit. So, what I did is I inserted the pick first and then binalik ko yung cheese kasi medyo mahaba yung kanyang stick. And then, what we want to do next is put on the nori. So, yes. Fill up the rest of the compartments ng ating yam box. Of course, we we'll use our silicone cups. So, sabi ko sa inyo guys, what I mentioned noong weekend sa aking tips, please make sure to have variety in your yam box or in your bento box, sorry. So that your kids will have a balanced diet. So, we have rice and then of course our ulam. Ulam is in the omelette. So, I'll just put it here. And then also a variety of colors. So for this one, that's why I'm putting lettuce here just to make sure na meron siyang pop ng color kasi halos pink lahat yung kulay ng ating creation for today. So I'm just wanting to make sure na I put ibang kulay naman para hindi masyadong patay yung ating creation. And here's the other silicone cup I'm putting the Dito sa ating smallest compartment, we'll put yung ating kiwi slices. Okay, there you go. And then, the last thing that we'll need to do, so I have here my sakura cakes. As na video natin, nagbento hole tayo. I'm just putting one here, which says full bloom. And then, I'm putting Just 
take it to the ulam. There. There you go. So here's our finished product. Okay, so sana guys, nag-enjoy kayo again sa ginawa natin for today. Don't forget to like and share this video para mas maraming mag-try mag bent wing. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para palagi kayong updated if I have a new video upload. Thank you for watching again, guys. See you on my next vlog. Happy weekend. Bye!